welcome to my craft room and we are going to make a My Besties project card. And I'm really excited about this card because it has amazing elements in it. I've chosen the Gatefold Sizzix die along with some snowflake dies as well that I had just received in a haul video that I just showed you. And we are going to make a Gatefold card. And I yo I chose, I didn't use, but I chose pink and gray in ribbons. This uh, Sizzix die dotted round the brocade embossing folder. I'm going to make a hat pin, so I got out some embellies for that. And the bow at all, we're going to make a double loop bow. And of course, some hat pins. I'm going to uh, do a really cute hat pin for you. Now this uh, gatefold card is cut in half lengthwise. Take a quarter of an inch off the end which leaves you ten and three quarter pieces, two of them. So I'm just flipping it over to get a nice clean crisp edge. And the reason why I chose the Stampin' Up! one here is to show you on the actual measuring board there. But I couldn't get it in close enough but it is ten and three quarters on the end. And I'm trying to show you here. There it is. It's so shiny, it's hard to see. So I ran uh, two of these gate dies through my Vagabond, and I'm using that tool in one tool and the tool in one foam to get all the gut pieces out, and it works beautifully. And it stays on this foam until you bring it to the garbage, and as soon as you tip it over, it falls right off immediately. You don't have to struggle with it at all. So I've cut out three elements of each of the snowflakes here and now I'm just picking out the pieces parts that didn't come off uh, when I was, um, I didn't use the mat for this. I was just kind of, wasn't a lot of holes there so I was picking away at it. And now I'm, I'm moving along quite a ways here. Uh, this is four and three quarters by one and three quarters scored. It's kind of fast here, but it is scored at, I'll say it again, one and three quarters and four and three quarters to make the gate fold. And you don't want it to meet there, which is really nice uh, for opening. Now I've used some sequin tape and I'm taping the back of the card so that when it is taped down, you are going to have the gate fold right there. I took my bone folder to make some nice crisp edges. And I took out, I don't have the measurements for everything, but I will try and post it. I used a very subtle paper pack in my colors. It was gray, pink, and baby blue, but it is really subtle. And I wanted the card to be white with very little color. See how pretty that is? And now I'm using the extra fine multi-liner with beacon glue. I always talk about that beacon glue because it's like glossy accents but you get three times as much at Michael's for your 40% off. A huge bottle. It dries identical to glossy accents and it's very affordable. So I put it on both gates and I'm putting it down on top of that beautiful beautiful paper right here and that's the start of the gate. Isn't it gorgeous? Now I switched over from my bag bond and I went to the new uh, cutting uh, big shot the one that is huge. I'm showing you there how big that is in comparison to the cutting plate. Uh, look at it. That's the purple cutting plate. How much you get on your Vagabond. Look how much more you get on this. I love it. But I didn't want to have to take my magnet board off so I just went over and switched to this machine which I keep to the left of me. And look at it. It is beauteous. I love using this. <laughs> you could fill your whole project up with, uh, with it. And I keep it there just so I don't have to switch out my magnet. So there I have the brocade embossing. I'm moving pretty fast. There are a ton of elements in this card, truly, but it was the most relaxing card ever to do. So here I'm just putting the pieces on for you with a lot of runner. You know how I am about that. I don't want anything to ever come up on my cards. And now on each side of the pieces 
that are going to go over top of this paper pack you want to put to the left of uh, the left side you want to put some sequin tape and on the right side of that uh, brocade panel you want to put see how I have it there that is for your ribbon to wrap around so you're going to take off the tape right here you're going to add some of your mono multi glue Tombow glue and don't quite put it down wrap that beautiful ribbon and then place it down with a paper towel and this secures the ribbon on each side so that is the brocade embossing piece and some sequin tape on the outer edge the sequin tape will grab that ribbon nicely there we are and then you put it down and I was inspired uh, by a fellow crafter on Amazing Paper Grace. Her name is uh, Becca Feakin and I encourage you to go over to her blog and check it out. I'll leave her link on my blog and uh, she makes beautiful cards. So here I am just putting some more double-sided tape. Yes, I do tape every ounce inch ounce <laughs> of my cards especially it's going over top of that thick ribbon here so you want it to be really secure now I have the back and the front and it is ready to put the pieces parts on and I'm going to velcro those uh, edges down this is a 15 inch piece of ribbon that I'm going to use later and now here's Penelope my bestie stamp she's gorgeous I'm going to use this uh, Spellbinders die to make my tag and I am going to use this Nest Abilities round dotted die and my pink and gray Stampin' Up! ribbon and it uh, some stays on gray but I switched the gray out to black and here's my corner edges from the dollar store and my bling from the dollar store snowflake pearls my Maya Road diamonds <laughs> beautiful diamonds and I always put a Sherry Baldy initial on her cards here's some more bling from the dollar store and I'm going to use some of that and all of this bling <laughs> yes lots of bling very important to have these flat magnets as well because we're going to magnet it closed so now I'm going to take the detailed black ink and I'm going to heat emboss it with some clear embossing powder and I was able to stamp that on the first run which is amazing and it says on there if we can get it up and I can see it while I'm doing this voiceover it says when times get tough you can always count on your bestie isn't that cute and I am now using my stays on black to put the stamp image down on my 140 pound cardstock. The other cardstock is 110 pound, but the uh, element uh, cardstock I'm using 140 pound that I order from my stationery store. So I'm going to use one of those boggles for the head. So I needed to have the uh, image stamped as well as another image for the boggle to set on top. I wanted to have it in a 3D effect and it looks really cute. So in order to do that you have to color both pieces and the piece right there that is underneath you want to color it darker than the upper piece because you can see with that boing boing boggle you can see underneath and I stamped the image also on a piece of the matching paper that I used in the card because I'm going to do the hat and the pants. I'm going to fussy cut it out so that we can paper pier pierce it so it matches the sides when they close. So here I'm used, doing the hat pin and I found this beautiful crystal um, with pink roses inside and glass bead. It's beautiful. So I'm making the hat pin and I've secured it with the oval, taking my Copic Black 100 marker to do all the edges of every piece, even the little hat pieces. You want to have the edges very crisp. It's important on any project that when you see it sideways, 
it's uh, it doesn't look like you've cut it out and you can see the cardstock. You want it to look nice and crisp. So that's why I use the black coping marker. So I'm getting ready now to get the pieces together, I think. <laughs> uh, I must take it a break here because nothing's happening. Oh yes, here we go. Oh, there's the boggle. I'm just setting the head down on top of it. Boing, boing, boing. Love this thing. Look at that. Isn't it cute? And we are going to use Prisma pencils and Gamsol today. And I'm not going to be gabbing while that process goes on. I'm going to let you enjoy the coloring. I only colored the face features for you because it would have been forever to do it all. So uh, here I am securing that 15... Uh, I, actually, I'm sorry. This ribbon is 24 inches long. Yes, it's the entire width plus more. I'm cutting the gate here to run the the ribbon through the gate and it has to go on the other side. I'm just snipping another piece so that it runs securely and I will put all the names in my blog of the pieces and I didn't want to go over that pink ribbon so I snugged it inside. I cut it off which would make it probably 20 inches because I ended up cutting a few inches off each side and I just lift up See how I lift that up and then I glue it down inside with some of my beacon glue right there in the fine liner pen. So each side will get uh, secure and on there. And this is the back portion right here. And you're gonna um, you're gonna see that there are a lot of details in this card. <laughs> I honestly I loved making this. So now you're going to get some glue dots and you're going to put your flat magnets and they are the flat magnets and they are super, super strong. So you put the positive and the negative together and then you secure it with the glue dot and close them. And then the one on top will, with the glue dot, uh, press in the exact spot you want it when you close it. And now I'm covering it with the gray cardstock. This is a darker gray. And it is almost like cardboard, truly. It is the thickest piece of cardstock I could find because you know I like my cards really heavy. <laughs> so now I'm putting the sequin tape on the back because it has to go over top of the ribbon. And I didn't want to be able to see the bulk of the ribbon. That's why I chose that cardstock really thick. And it has nice texture in it. So the middle is dark and the two side pieces are a lighter version. So I'm going to secure that down so there's no pieces without glue. I'm gonna take that up and then shortly, we're just gonna take our Prisma pencils and our Gamsol and we're gonna have some fun coloring. And I did, like I said, just the face facial features, but I do show you a little bit now and then of the rest because I paper pierced it. Now, okay, I'm jumping in here. I used the beacon glue last night and I let it sit overnight and now I'm crackling this piece because this is gonna go on the front for my ribbon to sit on. And I wanted it to have a real um, Victorian look, an old aged look. And there's my hat pin, isn't it gorgeous? Yes, so here we go. We're going to Copic Color. Please enjoy and I'll see you back in just a minute.
I'm back and thank you for joining me for the coloring. Now I'm taking my black enamel accents because I want the shoes to look like black patent leather. So I added that and now the head with the boggle is going over top of the darker colored head. And honestly, when it gets finished, it looks so cute. And I added, isn't it cute? <laughs> and when you open up that gatefold, that little head just boings all over it's so sweet so now here's the double loop bow at all that I'm doing and you're going to cross it I'm trying to do it slow that you can see the S shape here you go over the S shape on these two prongs which are three and a half inches apart and you loop it you put that to the back in the middle the one that's attached to the right back there now I'm just going to bring this back and under just loop it under like this. This is what they call that S knot. And I'm sorry, my hand got in the way there. But you're going to take that short piece, the one that's not attached, and you're going to come over top of the attached piece and bring it up through the back. And then you're going to tie it. And you end up with a perfect um, double bow. And there's lots of videos on the internet to introduce you to the bow at all double bow if you haven't seen it you can I'll, I'll make sure I leave a link so here's my little velcro dots that I got at Michael's at the sewing section and they're flat and beautiful and now we're doing the belly band I'm going to put another velcro dot on the belly band and we're going to put some crystal butter a little crystal butterfly to cover up the dot on the um, ribbon so you won't see it there so this is a way to secure it so you're not dragging it off and on because the gate is so delicate. It's really an intricate die, so you want to be using the back. And now I'm matching all of the bling on the corners. And this is from the dollar store, all that little bling. Isn't it pretty? And the bow now has the butterfly on it. And you're just going to take it and pop, there it is, with a cute little butterfly. And then you can take it off. And your gateful card is there ready for um, the recipient to open it. Now I put my Meyer Road diamond bling in the middle and my stick pin will go down through the back and make sure you buy your stick pins with those little rubber ends so nobody gets uh, pinned there when they open the card. Now I took my round circle that has the beacon glue that I cracked I put two of the larger shaped snowflakes on top with my glue gun and now I'm putting that pearl snowflake over top so that you have the heaviness so if you didn't you, you really wouldn't need the belly band but I thought it added a beautiful Victorian look to the my besties card and uh, if you see my besties design team members these cards that they do are absolutely gorgeous. They are so feminine. 
Now here's my Sherry Baldy, the S in the, and the B. I always put her insignia on all my cards, uh, my design team cards. Isn't that sweet? And that's going to go right there with some Suquang double-sided tape. Now I'm going to grab this bling because it's going to be where my bestie Penelope is going to lay down on this bling. Of course she's going to lay on bling, right? <laughs> yes. You can't have anything but diamonds and pearls with uh, Sherry Baldy stamps, I'm telling you. Now here's the fabric fusion you get at Michael's. This dries exactly like, um, oh there I'm just setting it, excuse me, just like glossy accents and you get that huge bottle for a quarter of the price using your 40% coupon. So I encourage you to do that. It's much cheaper than the uh, glossy accents. And here I am just positioning the other snowflakes just so that it, um, I don't know, just looks really feminine. Look at it. Boing, boing, boing. Yes. Isn't she adorable? And then you'll see that the headpiece underneath is darker because it's it looks like it's a shadow when you do that. When you make the face on top later than the face on the bottom, it just looks like the sun isn't hitting underneath and it, it really is a pretty element. So I've taken some bling and put it on all of the, see the teensy little diamonds on that big, they're burgundy little diamond triangles on the end of the snowflakes there. There's so many little intricate pieces throughout this card. I loved, loved making it because you get to use up all the stuff in your stash, right? So it's really exciting. And then you find more stuff you didn't even know you had. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, there it is, and I wanted to put uh, some bling on the back there. It didn't need it, I know, but I just cut the piece off in the center, and that piece in the center, I used it for underneath Penelope's hand, so it looked like she was leaning. See it right there? So she was leaning on pearls, and the Velcro holds that down, the two side pieces, and the magnets hold the pieces down that fold in. So it's a beautiful gatefold card, isn't it? And I want to thank everybody. I want to thank everybody over on my besties design team and uh, for all the encouragement that I get. Look at her little head pointing there. So I'm just going to show you here before we close how my card closes. Yikes, I forgot. Take that off, Carol. Yes, there. And the Velcro holds it shut. I'll show you right there and the magnet should uh, close the big piece. So here you have it, the hat pin is in place and I'll turn it over. There we are. And that is my card for you this month for my October My Besties Design Team project. I hope you like the project. I certainly enjoyed doing it for you. Have yourself a blessed, blessed week.